What is going on, my Atomic Auto Works friends? I feel bad. Rick has put so much work into this K20, and when we brought it here, the whole intention was to do like a full bill, like video tape the entire thing as we do it and kind of show you guys and all the ins and outs and ups and downs and all that. Unfortunately, we are a real shop. We're really busy, very understaffed, very shorthanded. So the few of us that are here have to work and we have to get stuff done. What I want to do is show you where we're at. So you can see, I think the last time we did a video on this, we were probably tearing it apart. So you got to see all of the rust that we have to repair and all that stuff. And it, just like normal, whenever you see a little rust, there's more and more and more and more and more. So we went through this whole thing, stripped everything down, patched a few holes that were in the floor. The floor is actually pretty good on this one. New inner and outer rockers, new inner and outer supports, all the underneath of this thing has been metal work and it's already in paint. What we end up doing is sandblast in the bottom. We stripped down the frame, all of the parts, all of the hangers and things that hold the fuel cell up and all that stuff that all got sandblasted, epoxy primed. And then we put everything in a stone guard. We chose the stone guard because it's like a satiny flat black. Um, I personally feel it looks a little higher quality. looks like something an OE would do. Um, we do paint frames and we do them shiny, but when you paint a frame, you have to body work it and you want it perfect. You don't want to just paint it to look shiny because what you'll do is you'll have a shiny mess and it will show any imperfections in the chassis. This is a great way to keep it looking OE and have it super durable. This stone guard we put on here between, between the epoxy primer that seals it and is a rust inhibitor and the stone guard, this thing is like bulletproof. It's gonna outlive us. So now he's got full new suspension in here. We went with an eight inch lift. We also went through a repair. Well, actually you can see we put new doors on it. We're just sanding off the E-coat so we could put the high build, really nice epoxy on there. Stripping down the firewall, all the metal work's already been done on the firewall. We're gonna actually go through and body work this, get all the firewall jams and everything done and into paint. On this one, I kind of want to have the cab on it and the bed on it, get everything fit do my final body work on it, make sure that it's perfectly panel matched and every body line flows into the next. So when you look down the side of the vehicle, it looks great with no waves or imperfections. And then we're gonna move it back a little bit, take the bed off, paint everything, and then put it back together. The bed also is already body work, well, in body work stage right now. We have to put a bed liner in it for painted bed liner. And then the bottom of it's already sandblasted, stripped, all the metal work's been done. All the cross supports that are underneath the bases, uh, the, the bed have rot issues that are all addressed now. It's all new metal, everything's welded in. It's already epoxy primed and it is already in the chip guard as well. So the underneath of this truck's gonna look beautiful. And seeing as how high it is, you're gonna see that. You know, we put this eight inch lift on here and this thing's kind of a monster. And these are the old tires and wheels. So when they get the new tires and wheels, this thing's gonna be up even a little bit higher. So to me, it's a really good height. Sometimes when you start doing 10, 12s, for short guys like me to jump in, it's rough. For an eight inch lift, it's really road worthy. It's cool looking and it's just, it's gonna look stout. I can't wait to get this thing painted and the new tires and wheels on it to lift it up and just have that aggressive stance on it. The paint ended up switching from what I thought. Originally, we thought we were gonna do like a light silver, but the owner actually decided to switch it up and go with a, darker silver, more of a gray. And I personally am excited about that because I've seen a lot of these in silver. I love them in silver. It's, they're badass. They look, look mean, especially nice chrome wheels and a nice silver paint on it. But since we went with a charcoal a little bit darker, I won't say charcoal, it's like in between charcoal and silver, it allows you to have depth in it. So now when we put the clear coat on it and sand and buff it, you know, silver looks good, it's in your face, but this will look high end, really clean, really classy. You're gonna get to see your reflection and your depth, and which I love because, you know, I know, you know, I love rat rods and all that type of stuff too, but being in the business, there is nothing better than having a great paint job with a lot of depth and a lot of reflection to me. I don't know, I love it that way, and this is gonna be, point in case a perfect color for this truck when you walk up to it you're going to see your reflection in it it's just going to look beautiful can't wait to get it done again rick is doing a killer job he has put blood sweat and tears into this thing and when it's done people will see how pretty it is but they're not going to appreciate how much work goes into it thank you rick thank you guys who own the truck i won't shout out their names yet because i don't want to blast them but i love doing projects like this we love having them in the shop we can't wait till it's done so please stay tuned, keep following us. We'll show you more of the process. We are gonna do a few more how-tos on it. I think during the paint process, we're gonna do that. Um, so you can see a little bit more and hopefully you like it. Thanks a lot.